Hearthstone's next expansion, Titans, is set to launch on August 1st, 2023. This expansion will introduce 145 new cards, including 10 powerful Titans. Titans are massive minions with three powerful abilities that can be used to turn the tide of a game. In this video, I'm going to discuss the Titan minions in great detail. I'll talk on how to get more Titans in your decks and other unique interactions. So if you're excited about the upcoming Titans expansion, then be sure to watch this video. I'll give you everything you need to know about these powerful minions so that you can start the expansion to use the Titans to their full abilities. As we all know, the Titans have three great abilities that can be used, but there are also some unique Titan interactions that will provide some uh, benefit to you in the long run when you're playing the, your games. One of the main non-interactions is that Titans can't be randomly generated, discovered, or randomly summoned. So that means in most games you will only get one per match. Effects like Freeze or Wind Fury that affect the number of attacks affect the number of abilities a Titan can use as well. So if your Titan is frozen, you can't use your Titan's ability on your turn. However, if you happen to get Wind Fury on one of your Titans, you will actually be able to use two abilities in one turn. And what's even crazier than that is that the devs have confirmed that if you happen to get Mega Wind Fury, which is a rare interaction to get, your Titan can use all three abilities in one turn and get to attack the minion or hero. So in some roundabout way, you can technically get charge on this with Mega Wind Fury. Some benefits as most of us know, but to clarify, each ability can only be used once and you can use your first ability on the turn you play your Titan. Now on to the interesting interactions and things to note when you are playing your Titan and building your deck. As you know, you cannot necessarily get uh, multiple copies through random generation, discover effects, or random summoning, but you can actually get copies of Titans with cards that will add a copy or summon a copy uh, if you already have one in your deck. And again, approved by the devs, when you summon a copy of a Titan, the state of its abilities are preserved. Things such as Cover Artist, Reverberations, and Any Storm Coil have its preserved abilities. So that means if you have two abilities on your current Titan and summon a copy of it, you will actually have a copy with only two abilities. I think this is all a very niche combination, but it is interesting to note, Last Reveler is one of the probably more playable cards, as it can fit into just about any deck. What's unique is that any Storm Coil only works for Rogue, as it will summon a copy of a mech, providing Wind Fury and Divine Shield for your minion. That means your summoned copy can actually use two abilities the turn you summon it. Will we see more reverberations? Another unique interaction is reverberations, a card that never really has been played too much. Not only can you use reverberations on your own titan, but you can also use reverberations to your enemy titan as well. Let's check out how to cheat out some Titans. So currently there are not that many ways to actually cheat out Titans. But with the previous mentioned Masked Reveler, which can summon a copy from your deck, truly cheating out the Titans is not something that can be done at this moment. Some of the most notable cards here is Nightshade Bud, discovering the exact minion and summoning it, which in turn you could possibly refresh your mana crystals and play more summon a copy cards and in which case you get to use another ability that isn't refreshing your crystals again because the summon copy cannot use that ability paladin might actually be the only class that can cheat out titans with front lines being probably one of the higher end of summoning as you get to summon another big round of minions in gore by summoning it from your hand and also Lead Dancer happens to be pretty good as it will summon the less, least attack. So if you don't put any minions below 3 attack, you will actually consistently summon it from your deck. Lastly, we're just going to make a quick mention on the keywords and buffs. 
So again confirmed by the devs, Titans may benefit from all keywords except Rush. That means if you give your minion Rush, it will not attack that turn. It will still use the first ability like it normally would, and Rush is basically a dead keyword on this minion. Although Titans can benefit from buffs as well, they cannot actually attack until all their abilities are used. So unless you're dealing with a Titan that happens to do random attacks like the Warrior Titan, it doesn't really benefit you from buffing it up unless it's to keep it alive. That's all for this video on the Titan minions in Hearthstone. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching.